rhythm techniques, part two. You started off with making sure you're standing tall, center of levitation is up, center of gravity is pulling you down, all of those are in line. Okay? And we also talked about the rules for the legs. There's always a foot placement, flat foot bent knee, hip lift, and then a weight transfer. Whether you're going forward, sideways, foot placement, hip lift, weight transfer, or back, foot placement, hip lift here, weight transfer. And on the rocks, same thing happening, you're just not going to go ahead and move your weight too far onto the foot. Today's stress, though, was more on the rotation on the, of the upper body and the compression so that you can work multiple planes and make this make your action fill out more space. And the rule was this, the foot that's moving, regardless of the direction of the foot, that side will start forward. So if I take my left foot forward, my left side's going to move forward. If I take my left foot to the side, that still starts forward. If I take my left foot back, it still starts forward. Okay. Um, the next part of that, from movement, I'm sorry, from rotation, there's compression of the sides. If I go from the back side, you see that if I lift my right hip, I can compress my shoulder blade into that lifted hip. Or if I lift the right or the left, there's my left shoulder. Compression happens with the hip lift. So what we did in the two different drills, we talked about here's your foot placement, let's rotate that side forward, and then as we change the weight, it squares up. Here's the foot placement, bring that side forward, it squares up. If we add the compression, we did the foot placement, we did the hip lift, but we showed how you can press into the hip, square up. Foot placement, here's the hip lift, we can just square into that hip, square up. We do it all together, you have placement with the rotation, hip lift with the compression, weight transfer with the neutral, foot placement with rotation, hip lift with compression, weight transfer neutralizes the hips and shoulders. Foot and through, foot rotation, hip lift, compression, square up. Talked about opposition of the arms so that we don't rotate too far. Say if I take my right foot forward, I don't want to do this number. Because if I had a partner in front of me, I'm going to knock them off balance. I got to make sure that my elbow almost stays out and back so that it resists me from turning too far. And then that actually lays the groundwork for your arm style. We had said that when you take that step forward, when you take that side out, as you go to a neutral position and finish the weight transfer, you find the end of that wrist. So you have one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, and you're sitting on chairs so that you can work your upper body without using the hips. So what I want you to do, guys, I want you to build to one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two of the side. One and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two. Go back. One and uh, two. Boom. And then on the rocks, same thing. Da 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 side left right and back left and right. Work that. Thank you, everybody.